I'm going to show you how to configure Oracle Apex 3.1 to be configured with your BI Publisher. We're making the assumption here that you've already installed BI Publisher. During the installation process it's going to ask you which port number you want that to sit on and by default it's going to be sitting on port 9704. In fact, if you go to your local host and then type in 9704 and then tack on the slash XMLP server, you're going to get this page right here. The first time you log in, it's going to ask you your username and password, and they are both by default administrator with a capital A. Now you can always go in there and go to your preferences and then go to account and set that to something else if you want to. So now that I know that my BI publisher is sitting on there, um, I can go to my Apex and um, here I'm logging in as the admin. So my workspace is internal, my username is admin, and my password, well, that's a secret. I'm going to log in, and then we go to Manage Service, and then Instance Settings, and it's under Report Printing that you're going to set this up. So uh, you want to say Advanced if you're setting this up with BI Publisher. And the server protocol in this case is going to be HTTP. Here's your server name, or you can put the IP address if you want to. Here's the port number, and then make sure you say slash XMLP server slash convert. Don't forget this beginning slash, otherwise it will not work. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you're running on 11G, make sure you enable the network services. You can always look at the code to do that by going to the Oracle Apex installation guide. Okay, so let's just apply our changes right here, and now I'm going to log out and I'm going to log in as a regular user. Log in right here. And I've got my sample application right here. And what you want to do is go to your shared components. And this is where you can create reports. So here under Report Query, you'll say Create. And let's just call this Customer Query. Our output format is going to be in PDF format, and I'm going to view this as an inline as opposed to an attachment, and then I hit Next. My SQL query, I'm going to use my query builder, and I'm interested in my demo customers, and I'm just going to grab the first name and last name. And let's also do an order by cust last name and cust first name. Hit Next. And then it asks us for the data source for the report layout. Do we want XML data or XML schema? Let's stick with XML data. And then we hit Next. Now, actually, before we hit Next, just want to show you that you can add more than one query here. For right now, we'll just have one query. Now, for the report layout, we can specify create file-based report layout, or we can just use a generic report layout, and then hit Next. And then we can test this to make sure that it's working. So if I open this up, you can see that here is our report. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it. Okay, yeah, there are our customers. Now if you want to make this fancier, you can uh, go ahead and um, use your file-based report layout. Also, any of the queries you have in here, if you double-click on those, here is the URL. So if I wanted to copy this, and then create a page in here with a button on it to link to that, I could do it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my application right here. I'm going to create a page. This will be a blank page. And I'll just call this uh, test page. I'm not going to bother with breadcrumbs. I'm not going to bother with tabs either. I'm going to keep this nice and simple and then I'll hit finish. Now I'm going to edit my page and now I'm going to add my HTML region right here. Just some sk dummy skeleton code right here. So our region is created, now we can add a button to the region. So here's our region right there. Create a button in the region position, that looks fine.
We're just going to redirect to a URL without submitting the page. And then for the branching, let's just say URL right here, and I just paste my target right there. And we'll just scroll over here. We create our button. Now we can test this. Okay, so we're going to log in as demo and then the workspace name. And of course it takes us to our main landing page right here. Let's go to our application and drill down to our actual test page and then we can run it. Okay, so when we hit submit, there it is. We can open up our report. Now if you want to make this fancier, of course, you can install your BI Publisher add-in for Microsoft Word and then create a layout that way. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video clip. I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training.